Understanding Clinical Trials in Myelodysplastic Syndromes, or MDS. A clinical trial is a research study in which patients volunteer to receive a new drug or treatment before it is approved. Therapeutic clinical trials help find new ways to treat diseases, including myelodysplastic syndromes, or MDS. New tests and treatments are needed for MDS. While MDS can be treated, the only cure is a stem cell transplant, also called a bone marrow transplant. This can be a challenging medical option for multiple medical and social reasons. One in three people with MDS have a type that gives them a higher risk of developing a disease called acute myeloid leukemia, or AML. Clinical trials are done in four phases. Each phase has a different potential goal or outcome. In phase one, a small group of volunteers tests a treatment for safety and side effects, also called toxicity. In phase two, a larger group tests the treatment's effectiveness, or how well it treats the disease. In phase three, many volunteers are treated to confirm effectiveness and compare the treatment with currently available treatments that may be considered standard of care. A treatment is approved by the regulatory authorities once it is proven safe for patients and effective as a disease treatment. Then doctors can prescribe it with wider access for the public. In phase four clinical trials, researchers collect information on the newly approved treatment for longer term outcomes. Before starting, clinical trials must be approved by a group called an Institutional Review Board. During the trial, study monitors check that the research is done correctly for safety and privacy. The trial can be stopped if pre-specified or unanticipated problems are found. Clinical trials for MDS are investigating many different approaches to treating MDS. Everything from targeted therapies, which work on a specific part of MDS biologic development, through sample banking and patient-reported outcomes. You may join an MDS clinical trial to try a new treatment or to help others. Specific eligibility criteria are used to ensure each patient is appropriate for the chosen trial. Clinical trial volunteers are needed because new treatments must be tested by humans before being prescribed, but only six in every 100 people with cancer joins a clinical trial. Many people may not know that trials are available or how to find one. You can learn about trials before joining. Once you find a trial that interests you, contact your healthcare team to learn if you qualify. If so, you will go through a process called informed consent. This involves meeting with a study team member to review the research plan, risks, and benefits. If you want to join, you sign a statement agreeing to participate and then work closely with the trial team and your doctor. You can leave a clinical trial at any time if you change your mind. You will still receive standard treatments and care if you choose to leave the trial. A placebo, or sugar pill, contains no active ingredients. Cancer clinical trials do not often use placebos. Instead of a placebo, the trial can compare the new treatment to the standard treatment. You may benefit personally from being in a clinical trial, and you will help others with MDS in the future. The trial results will help doctors learn more about MDS. Like every treatment, clinical trial treatments do have risks. It is important to learn about the possible risks before you decide to join a trial. You may always ask questions. The risks are often like the risks of standard cancer treatment. If you are interested in joining a trial, speak with your medical team. They can help you find a trial right for you. You can also search for clinical trials by visiting clinicaltrials.gov or the MDS Foundation's Clinical Trials Finder at mds-foundation.org.